ec economically, I mean, I just think once you see it like a struggle in society, then you'll see a struggle in families, marriages, friendships, everything, you know. So when people are making less money, people are less happy, people are less uh, stable. So stability is a big issue, you know, once money is a problem. And as far as technology, I mean, the way we met each other before, you know, it was more with, you know, more moral and we courted each other longer. I just think the moral of men and women is changing. I feel like our generation is settling for less. And what I mean by that, I mean you're getting pregnant and you're settling for what was in high school and then after that you've got three kids, you guys live together, you're not married and you're settling for that because that's what it is. We are in a culture where there's instant gratification. Right. Like you want things done right now this way and you expect that mate of yours to be that and it's like you have to grow to get to know another person and you're not willing to allow that you're just like you know this he's not acting the way i want him to act and you, and you know what that's it i had enough and they're not willing to sacrifice and go against that grain to get what they really want they don't have work. enough patience the, the older generation can go 25 30 years 40 years and be together for x period of time and then this, this new generation could barely last three years together. You see what I'm saying? So, and there's a reason for that. There, and there, there's many reasons for it. But w what's the reason? So, how many different reasons can one, they be? One, for? one main reason? I think there's way too many distractions now than it was before. I just feel like love is not pure anymore. Like, people take it for granted the word love, and it's just, it's not golden. Back in the days, it was easier because, you know, that was the thing to do. Leave your mother's house at a young age, get married, have kids. Nowadays, people are doing their own thing. Like, it's hard to even stay in a relationship, more or less get to the point of marriage. Our generation, we don't see couples being together for a really long time. So that's the problem. We have no examples. I think that the, that the amount of time and energy that's spent breaking a marriage in, in a divorce court should be the amount of time and energy spent in preparing somebody for marriage. I think that the role of women, obviously in the workplace, but just equality for women, is so different than it used to be. Um, like more women are working, they have their own lives, they're independent, they're not dependent on finding a man to invest their whole life in and like man and children to kind of make that their life. They have a life. And if like marriage finds its way into that life, that's like totally great, but it's not what they're waiting for. Yeah. It's not traditional anymore. So it just comes down, it goes with the mothering style of living. People just go with the flow. Don't think that marriage really matters no more. Marriage is all about forgiveness. It's all about compromise. And it's about turning the other cheek. And young people don't know how to do that. I feel like this generation is actually being raised to be single people and to be single individuals. So people just, people look at, when you get married, people look at it as, okay, divorce is an option. Divorce is not supposed to be an option. So like, if you're getting married, it's like, yo, it's me and you, we're rocking out. Like, it's, it's no divorce. You mad at me, I'm mad at you. Oh, well, you go sleep in the corner and we'll talk about it later. And there's no, I'm breaking up, I'm leaving, none of that. Stuff like that. Uh, if you really look at the music nowadays, like what, what's good, what's in right now, it's so much different from what we used to listen to, what we grew up listening to. The love songs, talking about how we care about a woman, how to treat a woman. Nowadays, you hear a, a song that's only talking about sex and getting them to the, to the bedroom and all that stuff like that. Mm -hmm. so, that's how I look at you know, young couples nowadays. This is what they're looking to do. They're not looking to marry. They're not looking to have a family or nothing like that. Because we've seen more divorce as a generation, maybe we're not as... We don't have this idea that marriage is foolproof. It's like, well, I mean, divorce happens, and it happens a lot, so maybe I want to be more sure about this, or maybe it isn't even for me, or it's not necessary. But there's not really any more second chances. You know, if it's a mistake that's done, there's no, okay, what could we do to sit down and work it out? Mm -hmm. It's just straight, it's, it's always a wrap. But I think there really is this thing now happening in the world where if you are unhappy, you can make yourself happy. You can make changes in your life to be that way. 
And I think that people are more willing to get divorced and to get out of a relationship now for themselves, which is kind of a selfish thing, depending on the situation. But I just think that in a way that the sort of individual happiness is more important now than it used to be.